You ever building a website and this red flag's going off in your head when you're adding an email to the footer, then you're adding an email to the contact page, and you're thinking, why don't I just define this once and reuse it anywhere I need it? Well, now you can with global variables. I'm very excited to show you how to reuse things like your emails and your phone numbers throughout your site. And also, I'll show you how to put some of that content in the middle of static text. So it'll be static, and then you'll have this one dynamic part like a statistic. Let's dive in and look at emails. I have this email in the footer. Let's click this and copy the email out of it, and then go up to our global root where we can define a new variable, and we'll just call this email and paste in the value. Now, instead of having my email hard-coded right here, I can go up to the bindings and select it from my global root. We see the email variable that we created. Let's go over to our contact page now and show that we can also bind our email right here, grab that from here, and now we're good to go. And let's change it. Let's go up to our global root and say, you know what, this is no longer support, this is hello. Now we see hello right here, we see hello in the footer, that is how you bind the entire content. Let's look at partial content. When we go on to the home page, we see that we have this 350 number. And we scroll down, we have the 350 down here as well. And we also have it on our about page. Over time, this number is going to change. This number might be a statistic for you. It might be whatever your product supports. And you always want to stay consistent across your site. So here's what we're going to do. Create that variable up top. And we'll call this cryptocurrencies count and I'm going to put 350 right here. In my heading, I am going to go to the binding, put a back tick at the front and back, and then at our dynamic part, we're going to get rid of whatever's there right now, do dollar sign, squiggly brackets, and we can select our cryptocurrency count. So let's just review what we did one more time. We put back ticks at the start and the end, and this is saying, hey, we're going to be mixing some static content like trade and cryptocurrencies with dynamic content. I'll let you know when it's dynamic when you see the dollar sign and squiggly brackets. Okay, so now we're gonna close out of this and we'll see trade 350 cryptocurrencies. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the top. Back ticks at the start and back, dollar sign, squiggly brackets, and then enter our variable. Great. And now we can go up to the global root and say, we have improved. We are now at 678. And there we see 678 and 678. So now whenever you find yourself repeating some piece of content, you should be looking at the global route to create a data variable and then binding that wherever you need it. That way, whenever you change it in one spot, it's going to change it in all of the different places. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.